Hello everyone, my name is Cecilia D'Antoni. I'm doing my PhD at the Institute of Biological Chemistry at the University of Buenos Aires. The present work is titled Proteomic Analysis of Extracellular Vesicles released by Lacticasei Bacillus Casei BL23. El Casei BL23 is a potential probiotic with demonstrated effects in vitro and in vivo. Extracellular vesicles or EVs, on the other hand, are secreted by all domains of life and participate in intercellular communication. And EV secreted by probiotics have been proposed to mediate health benefits on the host. EVs, as you can see here, could be transported across the intestinal epithelium and in this way, they may possibly reach target organs and tissues. And there, they could exert their beneficial effects. Here in this work, we aim to identify abundant proteins in EVs released by LKS IBL23 by tandem mass spectrometry, and we study their probable function and localization by bioinformatic tools. Regarding the methods, after culturing the bacteria, EVs were isolated by a protocol proposed by Dominguez Rubio and collaborators. Extracted proteins were run on a gradient SDS page. We excised here six visible bands after Kumasiblu staining. Then proteins were interdigested with trypsin and peptides were separated by liquid chromatography and analyzed by mass spectrometry. And the resulting spectra were compared with protein databases. Subcellular localization was predicted by PSLP, functional groups by EGNOC database, and then domains and functions with other protein databases. In total, we identified 69 proteins, of which 24 were putative and characterized proteins. The most abundant trend included mostly cell wall hydrolases such as P75. In general, most proteins were predicted to be involved in cell wall or membrane biogenesis, followed by proteins associated with carbohydrate or amino acid metabolism. Regarding the location, most proteins were predicted as cytoplasmic and membrane proteins. However, a great proportion of proteins have a known function and localization, according to the bioinformatic tools we use. By PFAM, Uniprod, and Interpro, we predicted domains and functions of some putative proteins. Some were predicted to function as cellular hydrolases and hadicins. We have also found phage-related proteins, but the function of some proteins could not be predicted at all, which holds great potential for future studies. In conclusion, the function and localization of these proteins gives insight into EV biogenesis and the role in the interface between bacteria and gastrointestinal cells. Cell wall hydrolases could aid in degrading the cell wall to enable EV release, for example. On the other hand, athesins may play an important role in the addition of EVs to human gastrointestinal mucins, increasing the time of contact with host cells and therefore the beneficial effects of EVs. As for phage-related proteins, phage receptors of governance in EVs could be involved in transmission of sensitivity to phage-resistant bacteria, but the function of most related phage proteins in EVs remains to be elucidated. Studies are being carried out by our group to confirm the presence and function of identified proteins and shed light on how probiotics have beneficial effects on the host. Thank you very much for listening.